What do you think you as governor could do to instill or inspire people to be entrepreneurs? Because there are probably people that have ideas and can see things and do things, but just don't know that they could apply it in ways to make money. Well, that's a great question. I think there's two things, really. One is, you know, if a, if a teenage girl gets pregnant, let's say, right, there's an organization to help her, right? If someone wants to quit drinking, right, there's Alcoholics Anonymous, right? And in, in fact, if someone wants to start some sort of prostitution ring and bring young girls from a foreign country, and there's an organization to even help them, right, called ACORN. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> so, so there's these organizations. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. So there's these organizations, and we all know what they are, that can help us with this. But when it comes to starting a business, let's say you have an idea and you want to start a business. Where do you go? Yeah. Uh, well, there's probably you know, organizations out there to help you. And there's CEDO, you know, Community of Economic Development and so forth. But not a lot of people are familiar with um, those organizations. And I think we could do a better oh. job at creating awareness for that. Oh, great. More, you know, when someone's considering starting a business, instead of thinking, oh, there's an organization to help me, they're thinking, I'm so scared. Because what I know for sure is that if I screw up and I forget to make a payroll tax or a payment or something like that, you know, or miss some other tax, they're going to throw me in jail. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there's a lot of fear. And there's not really a checklist, as far as I could tell, that I've never seen one, a checklist of, okay, number one, do this, do this, do this. You know what I mean? And so I think we could um, do a better job at helping and encouraging people. And the other thing is, with this same organization, if we were to create one, it could help people who are already in uh, in business as we speak. You know, 80% of all new business startups fail in the first five years. And the next five years is not much better. 80% 80, 80 wow. of those who survive the first five years fail in the next five years. And there's some basic fundamental principles that I learn in business the hard way in some cases about managing cash flow, you know, and marketing and sales and managing employees, you know, that, um, that are you know, everybody has to learn, and if you miss and make a mistake, it could cost you your business, you know. And if we could help those people who are running those businesses to avoid those pitfalls, then they could succeed because that's a large part of our economy has to do with those small mom-and-pop shops, you know okay. what I mean? So we